working your breath into your practice, having your feet nice and grounded. And just start to notice like a tiny sliver of light within. And as your breath becomes more settled and a little more full, just notice how that light starts to expand. Getting a little brighter each time, maybe even adding some warmth to the body as it spreads. Going down the arms, down the legs, and up to the crown of the head. And turning the palms out, we're going to keep the feet grounded and inhale the arms up. Feeling the spine lengthen as you inhale up and then turning the palms out, feeling the spine lengthen once again as the arms come down. Just adding some more light and energy, inhale up. And exhale down. And just one more time. And then just let your feet come slightly wider than hip width distance. Let the knees and hips be soft and just kind of start shaking things out, just releasing anything from the morning that's built up, any tightness that's going on. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to drop forward and take opposite arm to opposite elbow and ragdoll around. Let your head and neck participate, nodding yes, nodding no. Just release, the legs might want to move here. Whatever's going on for you. As you start to slow the movement in the head and neck, always end on a yes, nodding yes, and then take your whole body back to center. And as you straighten your legs, let your forearms melt toward the mat. And then bend the knees, float the arms out and up, palms touch overhead, and hands come heart center. All right, so now we're going to come back to mountain pose for our spinal awakening series. So the feet are hip width distance, slight bend to the knees, a little back on the hips, hands to the thighs. Exhale and just draw your arms up, shine your heart and back to your thighs. Up and back, just waking up that spine. And the next time your hands are to your thighs, just slowly roll up, inhale and exhale. Now we're going to take the feet to hip width distance, super planted, feeling all four corners of the feet, all the toes spread out. <clears throat> we can feel the big toe and the pinky toe touching, and we're going to move into some crescent movements. So take the arms up, interlace the fingers, and point your index fingers overhead. Okay, and here we go, keeping the right foot planted, we tilt to the left. So it's warm up here, so you go just as far until you start to feel it, come back, and tilt to the right. Feel it, and come back. And then just continue this simple crescent side-to-side -side movement, noticing what's happening in your body, where your end point should be with each movement. So maybe the end point is here for this one, and next time you come back, the end point could be higher or lower. So just keep in mind, side to side, plenty of time to focus on your body here. And 
and you're moving at your own pace, doesn't have to be anybody else's pace. And then the next time you're over to the left, when that comes around for you, make sure your right foot is super grounded and extend your arms parallel to the earth. Now you feel this nice stretch in the right, so let's add to the stretch in the left by pressing the left fingertips away to the left. Come on up, interlace the fingers, and we take it over to the right. Where's end point this time? Keep the left foot grounded. Release the arms. Press away with the right fingertips. Inhale the arms overhead, and we're gonna let the knees and hips bend slowly down and up. Just releasing, keep going down and up. Nice and soft down and up and down and up and release the hands, okay? So now we're going to start a little bit of twisting, okay? So go ahead and just uh, pick up a block and hold the block lengthwise, okay? Your feet are going to be slightly wider than hip width distance, the knees slightly bent. And we're just gonna keep the hands on the outside of the block, inhale and exhale, twist, to the right and center, twist to the left and center. Now focus on the center of your block and let your eyes stay at the center of the block as you twist. Every once in a while you might have to blink because we're focusing on the center of the block so if the eyes start to like go a little crossed, just blink. And a little side, to side. So we started by twisting to the right. Next time you twist to the left, you'll be even. Come back to center, holding on to the block. Inhale and exhale. So just hold the block by your heart here. And we're going to inhale and turn your gaze to the right shoulder. And then just come back to center, find the center of your block, and turn your gaze to the left shoulder, find the center of your block, turn your gaze to the right, find the center, turn your gaze to the left. Okay, now we're back to center, we're focused on the center of the block, and we're going to let the block travel with us, the eyes stay center. So it's just the neck, okay? Before we were doing more of a twist. And center and neck, hands go. And center, yes. One more time, each side. And center and left and center. Okay, let's shake it out. Put that block aside. And come to the top of your mat here. Okay, we're gonna work our way down to the earth. So float the arms up, inhale, exhale, swan dive over the hip creases, straight legs, hands touch where they touch, start to feel the hamstrings. Take a half lift and start to bring your hips down and bring your hands to the mat and step back to downward facing dog. Okay, so we're in down dog here, and we're going to walk the dog out. Bend one knee and then the other. Press one heel down and hold. Really feel that calf, and then press the other heel down and hold, feeling that calf. Two heels down and hold. And then bringing the knees to the mat at the same time, sit off to the side and find a seated mountain pose. Okay, so we want to be equal on the sit bones, feet are hip with distant, uh, feet are flexed, spine is long, inhale and exhale here. All right, let's go ahead and bend the knees and do some fun core stuff. So we're going to bend the knees here and take the arms forward. Now, as you lean back into core engagement, open your arms 
and come forward. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're opening and up. Now we're going to add the right leg up and down. Left leg out and down. Now we're staying on the right for four times. Up and tap the toes as you come back. Leg up, tap, leg up, tap, and leg up, tap. We're going straight to the left, left, tap, left, and tap, left, and tap, and left, and tap, Ooh, and shake it out. Okay, inhale and exhale. All right, so I didn't feel like your core needed a rest, so we didn't put any in there. Good to go? Let's try it just for fun, double legs. Arms forward. As you lean back, woo, two legs up, tap down. If you don't like the two legs, go back to alternate, right, left. There we go. Oh. And up, back, and up. Take it back and hold, hold, hold. Woo, and release. We're gonna do it again if you did one side, do the other side, hold, 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 oh, and release. All right, shake it out. Whew. Now we can add a little oblique work to that. So bend the knees, arms are forward. We're going right arm back, left arm forward, lean into it and come up. Left arm back, right arm forward and come up. Now as you take your right arm back, take your right leg up, and forward, left arm, left leg, and up, and keep going side to side. If the leg lift gets to be too much, then just go back to doing it only arms. We want the body to be happy here. Do we dare try two legs up to the side? Let's just give it a shot. Next time you're even, come on up. Take a breath, right arm back, whoa, and forward, left arm back, two legs, <clears throat> and forward. It's okay if you fall, it's great if you want to go back to single leg, just alternate. We're only going to go one more time each side, ending with the left arm back, whoo, and release. All right. So speaking of brightening that light within, right? Did that help heat things up, get things really bright? <laughs> Inhale and exhale. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little rock the baby for a hip opener. Take your left leg, extend it forward, flex the left foot, the toes and knee are pointing straight up. Take your right foot in your left hand and your right leg in your right hand and without moving the torso, we take the leg side to side. So rock the baby. Depending on your hip flexibility, you might want to hold under the um, right shin and take the shin a little closer. Some people like to put foot into elbow, knee into elbow. Okay, we're just checking in with our hips. Where are they now? Doing the position that best suits us, nice, and bring the right ankle above the left thigh. Support yourself with your hands, bring your left foot to the mat, your right foot is flexed, and we go side to side with the legs. And the next time that right foot is coming over to the left, let it come all the way to the left and sit up. See where your right hip is. We want the right sit bone on the mat, okay? If it wants to stay up because the right foot is all the way by the left thigh, just bring your right foot in front of your right shin. Hold on gently with your left hand outside your right leg. Bring the right arm up and back by your hip Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, gently twist, taking your gaze to your right shoulder. Okay. 
we'll just breathe in this twist. And then release, take both legs straight and give them a nice crazy shake. Rock the baby, right leg is forward, toes are up. We've also, instead of having the leg back here, extend it out from the hip. Foot is flexed, toes are up, knee is up. Hold on to your left leg. Side to side, torso doesn't move. And remember, any variation, this one is great. This might be good on this side. Foot to elbow might work on this side. You never know. Any variation is perfect. All right, and let's now take the left ankle across the right thigh, support yourself on your hands, bring your right foot in, and take that left leg side to side. Torso stays forward. And then let the left foot come all the way over to the right, Checking the hips to see if they're grounded. Moving the right foot in front of the shin, if that's better for grounding. Okay, right hand outside the left leg, left arm up and back. Lengthening through the spine and twisting. Turning your gaze towards your left shoulder and just breathe into that. You might notice a sensation in the outer um, thigh here on your outer left thigh. Just notice, see how that's doing. And then release, unwind, draw your legs forward and give them a nice little shake. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we're going to um, come up to hands and knees. And work on knee down plank to push up, okay? So let's take the hands far forward, bring the body into knee down plank, yes. Elbow creases are face forward, so we come into a tricep push up. Down, up, and hips toward heels. Okay, let's come into that knee down plank, tuck the toes and option, lift the knees here, push up from here, down, up, knees down, and back. So either one of those, as you come forward, if you want to do the knee up, just come into a knee up, push up, knees down as you go back. Or stay with knees down, or alternate. Nice. Perfect. And then one last one leading into a nice child's pose with the head comfortably resting either on the mat, on a pillow made of your hands, or even your block. We always want the forehead touching something which wakes up the seat of our intuition. And we want the head to be able to rest. So if we did child's pose with the head up, it wouldn't be restful for the neck. And float your way into downward facing dog. Just press through the heels, feel that nice extension all the way down the legs. And then notice the extension through the arms and start to walk your feet up, taking them a little wider each time, mat with distance apart. Bend your knees, bring your, elbow, uh, your forearms to your thighs, bring your hands to your heart, and lift up, lift up fingertips toward the sky, and as you exhale, come into mountain pose. Okay. Inhale and exhale. All right. Shake it out. How are things going? So far, so good. All right, let's grab two blocks. 
put them near the top of your mat. So we're going to do a sun salutation with a low crescent lunge, one on each side, and then we're going to move into a deeper um, hip flexor stretch and hamstring stretch where we'll be using the blocks. So sun salutation, feet are hip width distance at the top of the mat. Inhale, float the arms up, exhale, folding over the hip creases, straight legs. So if the hands wind up at the thighs or the floor or anywhere in between, just keep your legs straight, let those hamstrings release. Bring your hands to your thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward, sink the hips down, hands to the mat, step back with your right leg. We're in a nice lunge here. Inhale and exhale. Maybe take a few moments moving around in this lunge. And then carefully bring your right knee down, extra padding if you want it. And float your arms up into the low crescent lunge. Good. Bring your hands down and come into your knee up or knee down plank, what you were just working with. And for the chaturanga, we're coming all the way to the earth, but we want to make sure that the spine stays stable. There we go. And then just a nice little cobra, lift the heart. Yeah, and release. And float yourself back and up into downward facing dog. Yes. Inhale and exhale here. Then we're going to take the right leg up, take a big step forward with the right foot, whatever big is for you right now. Bring the left knee down, padding as desired. Right knee over right ankle into low crescent lunge. Yes. Good. And hands down. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Engage all the muscles of your body and take a giant step Left foot meets right, half lift, forward fold. Float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing starting on the left. Float the arms up, inhale. Straight leg swan dive over those hip creases. Half lift, sink the hips, hands down, left leg back. Enjoy this lunge, move around. Find your way to plank, knees up or down. Yep, looking good there. Alrighty. And then chaturanga. Remember, you could be knees up or knees down here. The important thing is the spine stays long. And just a nice little simple cobra here and release and let's try a lift into down dog of course you can always go table to down dog or you can tuck your toes take your gaze toward the mat and start to press up with the arms the knees can come up or they can stay down we're halfway up we extend the arms and come into downward facing dog just another way to get there table to dog is always good Inhale and exhale. Take your left leg up. Take a big step forward with the left foot. Bring the right knee down. Left knee over left ankle. Right knee is behind the right hip. Low crescent lunge. Bring the hands down. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. And take a nice big step forward to the top of your mat, half lift, forward fold over straight legs, reverse swan dive, arms out and up, palms touch. Yes, and hands come heart center. Okay, so now we're going to move into using the blocks. So have both your blocks at the top of your mat, coming into mountain pose. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over those hip creases, nice straight legs. Bring your hands to your thighs. Go ahead and shine your heart forward in a half lift. Bring the hands down. 
and step your right leg back. Bring the right knee down. So the knee is well behind the hip here, right knee. Left knee is over the left ankle. Turn your blocks to their highest edge. Put your hands on top and come into a nice deep stretch here. So crescent lunge with the hands supported. And then turn your blocks to their second side. I'm just gonna make that block invisible for now. Second side, left toes lift. We're moving into the left hamstring. And depending on your legs, your hips could be getting closer and closer to the heel, your right heel, or you could be still pretty lifted. Okay, work with what your body is giving you this morning. Turn your block to its third side and come back into that crescent lunge, yeah. And then come back to the hamstring stretch. All right, come back forward and bring your left leg back. Inhale and exhale. And let's take the right leg forward here and come into low crescent lunge with the hands on the block. The block on his third side. Left knee is behind the left hip. Right knee is aligned with the right ankle. And then taking your blocks to their second edge, right toes lift. Hips are heading toward the heels. How much or how little is depending on what's going on with your body right now. And then come back up to the third edge. Shine your heart forward. And come back to your hamstring stretch. Block to the second edge. Like that. Good. Right toes up. And then go ahead and come forward. Okay, bring your hands to the mat. Tuck your back leg, that would be your left. And step forward to the top of your mat. Take a half lift, forward fold. And float the arms out and up as your palms touch. And your hands come heart center and you release. All right, so let's find mountain pose now and just scan the body. See how the light is moving, how's the breath moving through. Inhale and exhale. A lot of activity so far in our practice, so we're going to slow down the activity a bit. Let's take the legs wider than hip width distance apart with the toes turning out and take the knees over the toes and we'll just go plie down and up a couple of times just to make sure the hips know what they want to do. All right, so now let's come into the plie with the knees over the toes, right? Not here, tracking through the center here. Bring your hands to your thighs. Inhale, and as you exhale, Start to bring your right shoulder to the left. Get that nice stretch. And come up, left shoulder toward the right. And up, right shoulder toward the left. And up, and left shoulder toward the right. And up, and one more time, right. And up, and left. And up and now just straighten the legs, bring the hands to the hips, heel toe, and shake out the legs, inhaling and exhaling. All right, we're gonna add just a little crescent forward and back to our warrior two. So take your legs wide here. So we're preparing for warrior two. Turn your right toes to the right, left toes in at an angle, okay? And well, let's first, Bring the right knee over the right ankle, okay? Make sure the left foot is super grounded here. Press through the outer edge. Make sure there's an arch in that left foot so we're not rolling forward on it. Right foot is grounded, arms are out. 
the lower half of the body is going to stay still as we drop the left hand, right arm up. So reverse warrior, it's a crescent position. And now we're just going to straighten the arms back out. Keep the arms straight as we come into side angle. And reverse warrior to a straight arm side angle. That's all we're doing, taking the body. Crescent, crescent. Just a nice smooth back and forth. And the next time you find yourself in reverse warrior, stay here, gaze up towards your right fingertips, and then come back to warrior two. Check to see you're still in alignment and take your gaze toward your right fingertips. Bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna turn all 10 toes forward. Put the index fingers in the hip creases. Keep the hips over the ankles and come forward halfway. Let's feel those hamstrings we were just working on. How the hamstrings doing. And then with the long spine, just come straight up. We're going to be going warrior two on the left. If you want to give your legs a break for a moment, go ahead, take them in and shake them out. Wide legs, left toes forward, right toes at an angle. Okay, let's get the feet first. Right foot firmly established, pressing through the outer corner of the right foot. There's an arch in your right foot. Left foot touching the mat, all four corners, even the toes. Bend the knee, left knee over left ankle, shoulders over hips, arms in line with the shoulders. Gazing past your left fingertips, yep. And then we're going reverse. Two straight arm side angle. We're keeping the shoulders stacked here. Reverse, yes. Two straight arm side angle. Reverse. Straight arm side angle. And then next time you're in reverse, just hold, gaze up towards your left fingertips. And come back into warrior two on the left, gaze past your left fingertips. Inhale and exhale. All right, go ahead and bring your hands to your hips, turn all 10 toes forward. We've got the index fingers and the hip creases so we can feel as we fold over, keeping hips over ankles, we feel those index fingers disappearing into the fold, and then let your hands slide down your legs, okay? Wherever your hands landed here, you've got a nice long spine, you're going to hold on, okay? So if it's your hands are by your um, calves, you're gonna hold on to the back of your legs here. If your hands are by your feet, put your index uh, your peace sign fingers under your big toe. Hold on, and we're going to try and lift up, but resist, resist, resist. Feel the hamstrings there. Now, take the elbows out to the side as you come into forward fold. And one more time, we're going to try and lift up, resist, resist, wherever you're holding on. It could even be the back of your thighs here. And elbows out, Take it down. So a resisted lift, and then we get help from the elbows to help deepen our forward fold. Now release whatever you're holding, put your hands to your hips, come halfway up, and come the rest of the way up. Okay, so you're going to bring your feet together, heel toe if you want, hop if you like, shake things out, and we're going to be working our way down, okay? So we won't need anything, but first what we need to do is just, yeah, wiggle around. Just make sure everything's feeling nice and juicy, released. And then when you're ready, 
Come to mountain pose at the top of your mat. And close your eyes and just do a nice little scan of the body. Notice where your brightness and your energy are right now. Floating the arms up. Swan dive. Blink your eyes open if they're still closed. Swan dive. Take a half lift. Sink your hips, hands down, find your way to down dog. Bring your big toes together and take your knees to one side, hips to the other, and switch. We're going switch and switch, side to side, side to side. Come back to center, bring both knees down, try to get them to the mat at the same time, sit off to the side, and find seated mountain pose. Feet are flexed, toes are facing the sky, knees are facing the sky. Now let's take the arms out by the side, palms up. Inhale, feel your spine extend as you bring your arms up. Inhale, turn your palms out and as you exhale, feel your spine continue to extend. Great. All right, and then just let everything go nice and smooth here. Inhale, gently float the arms up. Exhale, just fold into a gentle forward fold. Just feel what you feel here. If the body's instructing any movement, let it happen. And go ahead and bring yourself back up. Bend the knees. We're coming down to the earth. Extend both arms and both legs long. Inhale. Exhale, just the right knee in, Ardha Apanasana. Left leg is straight. Of course, the knee can bend if that's what your body is instructing here. Extend the right leg, two arms overhead. Ardha Apanasana on the left. Draw your left knee in. Extend the left leg, two arms overhead, two knees in, Apanasana here. And we're going to take this to a happy baby. Feet are flexed. You might be holding your feet inside or out. You might be holding your thighs. Okay, where's your happy baby? And then give your spine a nice massage in the happy baby. Noticing also the hip stretch that comes from Happy baby. And then make your way back to center here. Release your hold. Bring your hands down by your side with your feet still up. Point and flex the feet. Both feet point and flex. Point and flex. And circle one direction and the other. Let's bring the feet down to the mat and gently let the knees open and close just a few times. Little butterfly wings, hands down by your side. Make a gentle fist, extend and wiggle your fingers. Make a gentle fist, extend and wiggle. And keep going. Rotate the wrists one direction and the other. Now we're going to bring the hands down by side and just let the neck release, turning the head gently side to side. And bringing the head back to center, start to scan the body do any movement that the body's instructing, realignment, start to work your way into your final relaxation position for today. When you feel yourself super comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. Inhale through the nose. And gently exhale through the mouth, allowing your body to melt onto the earth. 
knowing that the earth is there to support you. Your work is done. You're in final relaxation. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to your body, wiggle your fingers and your toes. And on your next inhale, stretch long arms and legs. Exhaling, draw the knees in, give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side. And slowly back up to a nice, easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.